Hello, and welcome back to a slightly different house. In fact, slightly different family. Yeah, I have, again, tried to stop playing this a few times, and failed. So I've spent a little while playing this, and uh, I regret to inform you, I've gone through a few families, in fact. Uh, this is about the second or third iteration of this particular trap system I've been working on. But let's introduce you to our lovely family. We've got Sandy, with Sandy colored hair, quite appropriate. Jimmy, Jimmy. Wow, I really apparently lack creativity when naming my children. And Diana, uh, that's okay, I suppose, as far as uh, names go, but it would be nice to have a nice D or, I don't know, Anwen, Ariane Rod, something nice and Welsh. As opposed to these crazy American names, but uh, I guess I am in America, and maybe even an American. That's a terrifying thought. But, now, I have got a rather large trap system, as you can see. This, well, a large part of this, about, hmm, how much? If we go from here, and discount the reinforced walls, because most of this was wood, except for the steel walls where needed. Um, let's think. About from... We go from this corner here, up to the vault, was done on the first two grand that I had. Since then, I have uh, made a surprisingly good career of being a thief, and I've stolen £3,887. One person has tried the vault, uh, I don't know if it was many people, or, or just one person, but whichever, it took me about 15 minutes to get back into my bloody house. I like to think it was 15 infuriating minutes in which they were trying to work out how the hell to get through this maze of switches and traps. But uh, ultimately left empty-handed because I didn't lose anything, I don't think. I didn't have much to lose anyway, and my family's still fine. Right, I'm going to walk you through this trap setup. It's a bit complicated, as you can see. I've moved away from using pit bulls as my main... Um, deterrent, the chase you down, kill you sort of thing. Although I do still have pit bulls, you know, in behind doors, and as deterrents as part of the intelligent trap system, i.e. you can release them or not, depending on what you do. I do still have one down here, quite far away. It takes a while to get up there, but this acts as a, um, how shall we put it, a uh, incentive. It encourages the foe to step in and lock themselves within this system. Now, as you can see, they're all chihuahuas right now. That's right. I have not lost my mind, don't worry. They're for testing purposes. And also for testing purposes, this door, and this door, and this door. All for testing purposes. I have died to my own bloody traps about three times. The last time... I had a system very much like this, not quite as efficient because with each iteration I build it a little bit better from the, the onset, but very similar to this system. I was really pleased with it. And I even started using a Chihuahua as some sort of timed trigger release system. And while testing that, discovered that I hadn't quite built the system the way I should and killed myself. And that was literally right before I was about to record. I was testing the system to make sure it worked, and then I could show you, and then I'd be like, ha-ha, look at this awesome system, but then, no, I died. I'm just as well, I didn't start recording, otherwise it would have been humiliating. But now, I'll walk you through the system. So, the moment you step in, this is going to be a wall, so you could have two doors or go down here. Either way, you're going to see a pit bull, and if you go this way, when the pit bull's close, then you're going to trap yourself and die. If you go this way... When you step on this pressure plate, you're going to close this wall. That pit bull is going to be stuck out there. So you're safe. But there is a pit bull up here. Now, I suppose I should actually show you what's powered from the, the onset. Uh, I can't quite get up there. I wish there was a way to move the map around without me having to move around myself. But here we are. This power plant is providing constant power to this wall and this one. This is turned on, so it's passing power through. This is turned off, so it's not passing power. Now, the wall that that backs up onto goes all the way down here to this switch and provides constant power to this. Should this be broken by someone melting through the wall, this door will cease to function, which will release the pit bull in. So it's kind of a, you know, don't dig through the walls or you're going to make things worse for yourself kind of situation. 
This switch is on, so the power is passing through to this, which means this door is closed. Passing power through to this, this door is closed. This pit bull, not Chihuahua, is locked in. This is also turned on, so power has come up here, passing through this, and this is active. Now, usually, I'll just show you what that is. That's an inverted switch. Now, it, in effect, it means if it's getting power from the top, then it cuts the power from left to right. So it will be getting powered from the top because this is turned on and is passing power up. So this power isn't going to be able to move across. But should power be passed through, then that means that this system will be live. This door will be tr closed, this pit bull will be trapped, and these sticky switches will be active. But these will not be turned on initially. Now the astute will realize that that is being powered from the onset. So that means this whole system is turned off and this door is open. So that means when you step in the door, if you go the wrong way, you're going to buggy yourself because you have to come this way to get to the vault in the end. I'm using trap doors because I find that people are much more likely to carry around cutting tools or water to shirt so circuits than they are to carry around ladders. I've seen very few people carry ladders, so this is an ideal last defense for your vault. It's the least likely for someone to be able to cross with the tools they've got that I've found. So let's just assume that you walk in. Here I am. I'm a burglar. The family's making their way. So is the pit bull, so I can't just go and wait, dodging back and forth. And in fact, this also helps with that, because some people will just do this for a while to see what happens, because a lot of people have time delay switches. A lot of people have pit bulls running at them from crazy angles. And so they'll wait to see. Also, if the vault has enough money in it, if they just wait for the wife to come along, they can kill it, take the money and leave. But that pit bull should stop them from trying to do that, should force them to act. Now, from the moment we step in, this pit bull is, is trying to get to us, and this door is open. So we step there, pit bull's there. If we step here, pit bull's there. If we step there, pit bull's there. And now the pit bull will move back. But the moment we step here, pit bull's back out. In fact, let's check. One, two, three. In fact, if I even just open the door, the pit bull's out. Once he's out, he's in the system. We need to come up this way, so that is guaranteed that we have now buggered ourselves unless we can deal with the pit bull. Because once we're in there and learn, oh shit, he's there, there's no easy way of just running away because there's another pit bull there. So that forces you to have to get out here as soon as possible. Once you're here, this door's closed, you're safe from this pit bull. Now, if you were to come up here and walk out there, this pit bull would still get you. So you can still make a wrong move. But as long as you're on this side of the, of the map, which you should be until the very last point when you're going for the vault, you'll be safe from this guy because he'll just keep himself locked away. Now, there are chihuahuas dotted around, and these are just um, dead-end chihuahuas. You go the wrong way, you die. Pretty simple. You know, just a surprise chihuahua in the face, or pit bull, as the case may be. Now, looking around, you'd find that this is active. You don't want to go up there. There's a pit bull. This isn't active yet because this is being blocked. But if I were to step over here and turn on this switch and look up here and find, oh, there's a switch up there. If you walk up here without doing a few things first, then this is going to pass power straight through. You're going to step on there. This is going to turn live. This will be accessible now, but you're going to die if you try. Next. Um, oh, as I said, if you step on this and just explore and think, oh, no, we'll go somewhere else. Later on, you're going to have to power this system to do a few things. But at that point, you're not going to be able to get over there anymore because this is now powered on. It's permanently turned on now, so this is live. So unless you can break that, you can't get past. Also, this dog is currently locked in, and that's the main thing. What we need to do, in a nutshell, is turn this, is turn this off, turn this on, turn this back on. So power is feeding through, and now this is turned on, it activates this, and then leave. But the way to do that is quite convoluted. And this is what I like about this particular system. It forces you to do the same thing a few times, but in a very specific order. And people tend not to use repetition. If they've tried a switch before and it didn't do anything noticeable, they might not try it again. Certainly if that switch involves a couple of switches. So that's what this system revolves around. It's a complicated system that has to be activated in a very specific order. 
And you have to go back to things you've already done before in a very specific order. And if you do any of it out of order, you'll either release pitbulls on yourself or you'll block the way and make it completely impassable. Also, it prevents you from willy-nilly just cutting into wires. You could cut this system and thus make this passable again. But by doing that, you've now blocked power to this door, meaning the pit bull's always going to be released. You could cut power to this system, thus making it possible to walk over this again. But now you've cut power to the trapdoors, thus can't reach the vault. Obviously, with the right tools, you can get past any of these problems, but whether you'll have exactly the right tools is fairly low chance, I've seen. But I'll quickly show you what you need to do. So you come through here, go over there, you activate this, you turn off this switch. This powers down this whole branch, including these doors and all of this. Now, you come up here, this pit bull will be matching your position. If I step up there, it's still okay. I can still recover from that. If I step there, pit bull's in the system. I'm now being chased. But what you do is you come up, you turn this on, come up here, go straight across here, ignore these doors, turn the power off to this switch, come back down. Go around, turn this on. Now, here's a bit of a choice because we will have turned it on from here or possibly here or over here. Depending on where you stand, when you turn the power on, I, th I think if you turn it on from this direction, it still won't save you because the, the pit bull will move with you and then the door will close. The clo it'll close on the pit bull, but it won't kill it. The pit bull is effectively in the doorway right now. And it can choose to move left or right. But once it moves off the doorway, it won't be able to move back onto the tile. The tile blocks movement, but doesn't block movement out of the tile. So whichever way we come at this switch, we stand here, the pit bull is on the door. Now, knowing that this is an empty room, your compulsion would be to step back and go back up. That is the wrong move, because now the pit bull is locked on the outside of its cage. You come out here, face full of pit bull. So what you have to do is you have to walk inside the room, which for an invader who doesn't know the system would seem like a, a, a useless waste of turns, but it's very, very much intended. We're walking off the, in here. The pit bull is now in the cage with a locked door. You have to step around the pressure plate. Don't step on it again and then come up here. Now with this turned off, this is no longer being blocked by a signal. So this whole system over here is powered on. This door is closed. These pressure pads are live and capable of transmitting power. Whether you've already stepped on this one or not will either allow you to pass and do what you need to do, or it will break the system and you will no longer be able to proceed. So what you have to do is you have to come up here, turn this power off so power isn't being passed to this pressure plate, which means it's safe now to step on it and turn it on without turning this grate on. But if you try to do that straight away, the moment you step here, because this is receiving power, this grate turns on, so you're now locked in here. You can click on that safely, but you can't go anywhere. You're now trapped. So you come back out. Uh, so you come back down from here after turning this off. And now, here's the part where you've, you've got to know what you've got to do. You can't just randomly click on these switches. You have to do them in a specific order. You have to come back down here again, turn the power back off, go, come back up here, turn the power back on, come back down. And once again, very specifically, turn the power on and then step to the right. Make sure the pit bull is locked in. It's easy to tell. Well, you wouldn't really be able to tell here, but uh, the moment you step out here, you'll see him there. And whilst we've got the uh, safety systems in here, well, well, whilst they're chihuahuas, I guess, it doesn't really matter one way or another, we can tell that the system's working. I've already tested this system extensively. I know it works. I will do a, a dry run once for you guys, but, uh, well, actually, no, I'll replace the walls and then I'll just show it working. And then we'll go and uh, see if we can rob some places. But now the power's back on. So this system is turned off, but this is back on again. So we can't go up there, but we know we've turned this off. Next, we come across here, activate this switch, but because it's not receiving power, this doesn't matter for us right now. Come up here, turn this on. Again, it's not receiving power, so it's safe to step back through the system. Come back down once again and have to turn on the uh, off the power back up, turn the power back off, come back down, turn the power back on, step to the right, make sure the pit bull's trapped and back up. At this stage, 
this is receiving power again. So this should be clearly turned on now. But what you've got to do is you've got to come back up here and turn power back on. This lights the system up. So at this point, th because this is turned on, power is transferring across here, down through the grate, across this, and the drawbridges are raised, uh, sorry, lowered, so we're going to be able to, to get to the vault. But this is not powered currently. Uh, sorry, no, this is powered currently, because that is turned off. Now, this is the part where I'm hoping that should someone have been able to get this far, because they have tried the system so many times and have actually worked out what the hell it does, Again, because it's not something they can easily just cut wires to. You cut wires, you can easily kill the system permanently, meaning the only way to get in is by digging through walls and using ladders and things like that. So ideally, the only people to be able to do this is someone who knows the system. Perhaps you, you cunning little fellows, learning all my secrets, intend to rob my house. Just don't kill my wife, that's all I ask. But uh, right now, this is powered, so this door is up. This pit bull is trapped. This is live. Now, as I said, what I'm hoping is that someone will have learned the system. And if they've gotten this far, they've learned it pretty good. So the compulsion might be, oh, well, I've had to reset the system after every time I've done something so far. So let's go do that now. Go up here, turn this power off, uh, back on, sorry. So that's now charged. This is now off. Come back down here, lock the pit bull back in. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good with myself. I'm home free. I'm going to go steal all those awesome valuables and paintings. What the hell? There is a pit bull right there. Ah, dead. That's what I would hope. So on the last time, you have to go against what you've been taught by the maze so far. And that is you're not to turn the power back on. You want this whole section powered. If you can see that grill on, you know it's safe. Come down here. This pit bull is locked safely away in its cage. Come up here. Step over this. This is now turned on. If you've done anything wrong at this point, and I don't think you can if you've gotten this far, unless you come up here very early on, then the uh, way access should be clear. You step over, get to the vault, you're out. You don't need to build a way for them to walk back out. As long as they can get to the vault, the system is fine. Should that ever change, then this kind of design would have to be very much more complex. Now, I well, actually, I will do it once more, just with the, the tests in place, with all the uh, safeties. So we'll have all the chihuahuas and a couple of doors. So, for example, if I came this way and I didn't want to, I could get out. Likewise, if I walked up here and trapped myself stupidly, I could get out. Things like that. So, let's just pr show that this works. Okay, we're in. Now, Chihuahua's coming up there, Chihuahua's over there. So we want to go down, cross. This Chihuahua is now locked. Come down here, open this door. Go up, turn power off. Come back down, turn power on. Make sure the pit bull or Chihuahua is trapped. Safe. Come up here, this power is now on, so we don't want to go in this direction. Want to instead go this way, where it's safe, turn the power off. Come back. Go there. I didn't really need to do that, but it's a good habit to have. I have died on this kind of system. Uh, like I said, I've, I've died a few times to my own traps. And it was because of that at one point. I didn't turn uh, the right way, so it's a good habit to get into. Now this should be safe. There we go. This should be safe. There we are. Now we come back down. Now we need to turn the power back on again. So, a lot of repetition. There we go. And there. So, this system is now live. That is a good sign. This system is not. We turn this on. Power is now flowing through this whole system. Now, as I've said, this is the point where we don't want to go and turn the power back off. We want to come out here. The Chihuahua should be, or Pitbull, or whatever, should be safe. This is now active. Come up here. Is it worked? Yes, it worked. Hurrah! Now, obviously, I don't want this particular system to go live, because everyone will just walk through all the doors and reach my valuables. Well, they might even get trapped down here, honestly. But uh, So, boom, we leave. Now, I replace all the doors with walls. So we don't want anything there or there. 
Next, we need to replace the Chihuahuas with Pit Bulls. Now, Pit Bulls cost twice as much. So we're not going to be able to replace them all. We will replace this one, as that important. We will also replace this one, as that is also part of the trap. We will replace this one. We will get rid of that one. And get rid of that one. And that one. Oh, we'll keep that one. Um, actually, no, we'll put that one there. And I'll stick a chihuahua. No, actually, because uh, it would be a waste of money, because I wouldn't be able to get rid of it later on. Um, well, no, we will have it, because I'm sure once I've got a bit more money, I'll build a system that's a bit more complex and actually uses a chihuahua to trigger traps. So, this system is now live. Let's just quickly make sure before I have to go through the gauntlet. So that's all hooked up correctly. That's all hooked up correctly. Now, there shouldn't be any ways out up here. Yep, that's a dead end. That's a dead end. Death, death, death. Yes, everywhere death. Excellent. Now, let's check our backpack. This is stuff that I have uh, robbed off people. Well, some of it I robbed. I think I robbed the crowbars. But uh, this I got off people who died in my traps. Which was quite impressive that they managed to die because before I went out and robbed almost four grand, this was a two grand system. You had to be remarkably unlucky to step on the, the pressure pads in the wrong order to trap yourself because there were no pit bulls or anything. It was just it was just pressure pads that needed to be accessed in the right order. Um, I think the guy died on this one by powering it up, stepping there. Oh dear, dead. It was pretty funny. Not for him, obviously, but very funny for me. Now then, here's the moment of truth. If I die to this trap now because I stepped the wrong way, I'm going to be so pissed off. It's going to be untrue. Right. Power. There we are. Power off. Power on. Make sure it's trapped. Hello? Hello? No death? Phew. Okay, no death. Now we want to come this way. Turn power on. Uh, off, rather. Come back down. And up we go. Power back on. Now, as you may have noticed, I've got the, the in-game music playing this time. Because uh, I didn't have Keygen Jukebox playing nearly loud enough the last time. So, now, have I done this correctly? Let me just double check that. I didn't have Keygen Jukebox playing nearly loud enough last time, so it was kind of pointless. Um, let me know if this music's okay and I may have it playing a little bit more often uh, I did turn it off because it only plays during burglary and because so much time was spent in the building phase I didn't really think it would be that useful but uh, it turned out that it wasn't so bad with me just talking in the last video because you couldn't hear the music anyway All right now let's close this door Now, what have I just done? Okay. I'm forgetting what I've done. Now, that's active. This should be powered. This pit bull should be safely locked away in its cage. We should be clear to leave. Please let me not have forgotten to do something. Ha-ha! Victory. Now watch me die in someone's crazy trap system. Uh, there's no one there I really want to rob. Mostly, I want to see someone trying out that my traps, really. I see my security tapes. No one found it, damn it. Turn to my house. Oh, damn. Okay, I need to get something to uh, attract some people, I think. Uh, let's... John Peter Dolan. Oh, okay. Kevin Walter Sandoville. Ooh. Okay, this looks a bit crazy. Wow. Okay, he's got a lot of pictures and a load in his archive as well. This is a very successful house. You can tell that. And most of this is... Yeah, I'm not going to even bother this one. Oh, okay, I guess I will. I'll have a look. I'll peek. No. Probably there'll be a chihuahua and it'll lock me out. I, well, actually, I've got a crowbar. Yeah, I thought as much. You know what? No. I've broken your door. Swine. That's right. Your door is now broken. What about you? Can I break you as well? Yes. Yeah, crowbars break powered doors. 
I didn't realize this. Uh, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Unless I can work out where the power is coming from, in which case, maybe. Anything down there? No. Anything down here? Uh, I can't tell. I can't tell where the power is coming from. If I could, then I would throw some water on it to break the circuit, but no. No, I'm I'm content with having broken your doors. Because you're going to have to replace those now. They are permanently broken. Though, again, I don't quite understand how the uh, whole replacing mechanic works, honestly. Whether, if you've got enough money, things will be sorted out for you automatically or not. I really don't know. Hmm, I've only got $2. That's why no one's robbing me. Let's see if we can find someone to give us some money. Oh, wow. Really? I don't like the look of this, honestly. But I'll give it a shot. I can't short it until... I can't short it until it's active. But if there's, like, a dog or something that just... I step over and then I immediately die? No. I'm not going to risk it. Not when I've invested, like... Almost six grand in my house. Uh, let's go again. We need someone to give us some money. Oh, wait. I've just been here. Damn it. Okay. Henry Jeffrey Smalls. No. Ronald Horace Simmons. Hello? Have you got stupid amounts of pit bulls racing towards me right now? See, the pit bull up top in my design where the door is currently open until you step further into the trap, also guards against this tactic. Because if someone's doing that, then they're probably... Hmm. Am I now being chased by pit bulls? I've got two crowbars and two dog meats. I could save myself, perhaps. Uh, any pit bulls? No? Okay. What about down here? Have you been cunning? You've just made like four boxes that I have to kind of choose which one to go through. That'd be pretty impressive. Clever design. Okay, there's something down here. I've got to commit myself to a certain direction. What about up here? Oh, I like this idea. You've got basically four little mazes and you, you know, the game is already afoot when you have to choose which maze to go through. Very clever. I've got two crowbars. I'm going to go for the one that's actually already closed. I know that might sound silly, but... And kapow to you. Is this it? Ah, oh, I chose poorly. Damn. That's annoying. Okay. Who's next? Well... Have I come the right way? Kapow. No! Damn you and your cunning trap design! Right, I'm not gonna throw myself into a potentially dead room now, so... But that's really clever. Because if you haven't got crowbars, you're kind of buggered. And I no longer have any crowbars. Damn it. Okay, what about this one? Read Anthony Myers. Nope. Troy Kelly Johnson? How about you? Oh, no. Thanks, but no. This... I don't like this. I don't like this whole system. If I had some crowbars, I would have uh, clubbed some of those dogs to death. I hate killing the animals, but... Uh, yeah, as I've said on uh, a post on Bay 12, I really dislike people who use them in such a cheap way. Let's see. Let's see if we can find something. This video may stretch on a little bit, I guess. I don't really fancy stopping it just yet. Daniel D Blake David. <sighs> really, Daniel? Really? No, thanks. I don't have the right tools to get back out if I got trapped. Um, Claire. Uh, I don't know. Uh, dogs straight away, really? I don't like. Tell you what I can do, though. I can buy some more water. Or even a brick. Now, I'm assuming you'd use a brick. Oh, another person. Go to sleep. Now, that dog should be trapped. 
Patty. You know, Patty, your husband is an epic git. Setting up this horrible little trap system. It's probably going to revolve around me picking the right way. Yeah. I know. Damn it. Pitbulls. Such a cheap strategy. Why can't I find a house that's as complicated and awesome as mine? Now we've been there. I've uh, been there. L Lille. Let's try this one. No, someone's already there. Butler. No. Johnson. No, I think I've been there. Petaway. Oh, no. Nanette. Nanette? What a curious name. Any dogs? I hate using this strategy, but given that how many people use pit bulls as their strategy, I, I really don't feel that bad about doing it. Oh man. I hate walking into a house and finding the family murdered. There's just no need for it. His vault was just there. You could have been happy with half of it. Ooh, well, that's not bad. Let's stick that in our backpack. That's worth 100 by itself. Now, we've got 186 in our vault. Hopefully, this will be enough to tempt some people. And whilst we're waiting on that, James Matt, no, 88 people have tried and 32 of them have died. Let's try Kelly Allen. <sighs> really? And that wasn't a small amount either. That was like thousands of dollars worth. Uh, we'll go for Michael Dorsey Beach. Nope, someone else is going there. Um, John, Donald, no, I think we've tried that one. Uh, let's find a nice... No, well, actually, loads of people are dying on all these places. Let's try George William Stephan. Uh, really? Man. Lisa, I'm not even going to step over your corpse. That would be disrespectful. I'll go through the door. I'm sorry, little Samantha. Little Bobby. Don't worry. I'm sure not all robbers are like that git who murdered your mother. Some of them are like me. I'm a good role model. If you, you know, work hard at school, don't uh, mitch too much, then maybe one day you can be as awesome as I am. I've sold $42. Aha! Finally, someone is in my trap. Okay, let's rob your house. Oh, awesome. If you spot someone who's got two grand just sat there and no one's robbed it, rob it straight away because probably has no traps. Hello, Evan. Hello, Wendy. Move along. Have a nice day. Uh, I hope you don't mind me taking half your money, but uh, uh, you've got a thousand dollars. You can do a lot with that. There we go. Some more money for the little uh, the fund to get some more people there. Uh, I could rob him again, but that's remarkably cheap. And I sometimes wonder if people do this as kind of I don't know, maybe they've bought a second account. It would be kind of silly to do that, but I guess it's only $8 right now. And effectively use it as a farm account. Just leave the house, and then with their main account, go in and steal all the money again. And it's not too great. Okay, Francis C. Butler. Two people have tried. Zero had died before Francis. So let's see. And we're going to run at a slow speed. Oh, went the right way. Oh, no, you've doomed yourself. You've doomed yourself. He's released. You're, you're buggered. Okay, you're making the right move so far. You, 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 you've got nothing to deal with the other pit bulls. You, you are doomed at this point. There's nothing you can do. But uh, accept the cold inevitability of death. That was a bit brave. Ah, chihuahuas at your feet. That's right. I'm not sure what we're going to name our Chihuahua. It seems quite deserving of a name. Tiny little ball of furious passion. Oh, oh dear. Oh, Kind of caught between a rock and a hard place, or a pit bull and another pit bull, as the case may be. Bad luck, Francis. I would say I feel bad for you, but uh, you did rob my house. It wasn't the other way around. Oh, and there's another one. I'll let the video stretch out a little bit more. We'll see if we can get a couple more. But uh, I'm not going to do too much more robbing. I want that money to kind of sit there, luring people to my house. Like moths to a flame. 
Though I suspect, because my trap system is quite convoluted, that anyone who doesn't immediately die to the pit bulls by walking into the wrong door may take a long time to decide what the hell they're going to do. Especially if they've brought a lot of stuff with them and they don't want to necessarily lose their home. The more you've built up your house, the, <laughs> the more you're willing to just sit there and think about what your next move is going to be. Uh, still waiting. Can we return? No, still being robbed. It seems that you'll only get a security tape if someone dies or someone successfully robs you. You won't if they just leave, if they make it out. So it's worth remembering that. Can we go back to our house? No. Well, okay. So, uh, yeah, this is this is fun, only it's not. I do kind of wish... Oh, we'll try out your house. I do kind of wish the, it would put you in a queue. If you, like, you clicked on return to your house, not so much if you were trying to rob someone, because if the last person succeeded, then there might not be much stuff there to rob. So I think if you try to click on someone's house and they're being robbed, yeah, take their name out of the queue and don't put you into a queue. Like, take their name off the list, sorry. But when it comes to returning to your house... Oh, here we are. Damn, we must have missed the security tip. Uh, when it comes to returning to your house, I think it should just put you in a queue so you can uh, get back in. And it looks like uh, nothing was broken. Probably more people died. I'll check that security tape out in just a moment. Um, I'm not going to make any changes. I could add more pit bulls. But for the time being, I'm just going to say done. So I can just come straight back out. Oh, wow. A couple of people died. Let us watch. So four people have tried by this point and two of them have died. And given that Francis was the first one who died and two people had tried before him, pretty much everyone since Francis has died. Let's watch these two tapes. And then I'll wrap this recording up. Good luck, whoever you are. You've already failed. You're dead. You fool. It was that simple. That easy. Your life is now over. No, it's no good being careful now. You've already doomed yourself. And you can see your, your doom just sitting there waiting. Patiently. Considering its next move. Oh, you've already done that. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. You actually had quite a lot of stuff. You could have easily gotten past that pit bull as well. You could have either clubbed it or shot it. Or, when you stepped on that, you could have exploded something, I'm fairly sure. The way You wouldn't have been able to get out because I've built all of this double thick wall. So you were more or less doomed. But, uh, good try, Jared. I like your name, by the way. Gerald Paul Hino... Hinosa. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that J correctly. I'm assuming this is like a Spanish name, but I'm really not certain. Well, let's check you out. Ooh, two guns, two dog meats. Are you going to shoot my pit bull? Are you going to shoot my pit bull? No, you're going to put him to sleep. And then you're going to walk on him. Because that never wakes a dog up. Have you never owned a dog? I've tripped over many sleeping dogs in my time, and not once have they carried on sleeping. You fool. You brought that on yourself, but thank you for not shooting my dog or clubbing him. You had all of these options. You took the humane route. I'm almost sad you died, actually, Gerald. I'm really sad. Um, I'm not too sad that I've got all of your stuff. That's awesome. I just, oh, I'm being robbed. But that's it. That's it for this video. I will return to my house and I will have all of their belongings sat there. Or I'll return to my house and someone will have robbed me successfully. Very unlikely, in my opinion. And stolen all of those belongings. Either way, probably the next video will be a, a tape of whatever that was. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, a little bit more of a glimpse into the gameplay in uh, Castle Doctrine. Which, again, I can't stress how much fun this is. Even though it is effectively PvP, I'm dying to other people or my own stupidity. I don't know, it doesn't really come with the same sort of rage or stress that like pvp in dark souls comes with i'm not sure if i'm if that makes a lot of sense to some of you maybe some maybe not everyone but uh yeah i hope you've enjoyed the episode and do let me know if the music was all right and i hope to see you in the next one but until then take care